Hello everyone. How Hi are guys. you guys doing? We oh, did are. You see Volk said um, he already sees me mm. doing squats. Oh yeah, uh, we are in a peculiar place today. Most of you will recognize where we are, and especially based on the title, it will give it away. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of people. We had like a bunch more before too, but like for some reason like a big hole, like two big holes appear in front of us. Oh well, phrasing. Oh, oh my god. Fuck, I fuck. I, <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh, I see, like I can recognize this uh, disgusting ass basic cure man all everywhere, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have my HUD enabled. Welcome, welcome everyone. Yeah. We are currently in the Belmont quicksand. <laughs> um, we are going to visit some crystal houses today. Uh, same thing as the last few times. If you're new, uh, for you guys, again, uh, we are catching up on some houses that we have missed during our big hiatus. So it's a bunch of them that we bookmarked. We saved them for visits that we just get, didn't really get around to <clears throat> to check it out. Oh, Mina. Mina Sunuki, thank you so much for the resub. Two months! Let's fucking go! Thank you so much. Yeah, Appreciate thank the you. Sub. Um, and we are going for every single server, so we are still doing the NA service at the moment. So we are currently on Crystal. Uh, we have worked through, uh, what was it, Primal and Ether. So this week it's yep. Crystal. We, list, uh, we did miss... Last week's stream, because I was sick and Ash and I had some time issues as well, so everything is fine for today, though. It will be a good stream, good houses. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, I'm excited for uh, the theme, I noticed. Like, maybe it was just accidental. I think it I was guess... accidental, yeah. <laughs> but I think you guys will pick up a lot of the houses <clears throat> we're going to look at uh, have a kind of similar theme, especially with, I would say... The interiors and like the windows it's kind of very dreamy and a lot mm. of starry skies it's gonna be very good to see like some approaches to the same style or not style like same theme uh yeah. being very different especially for houses that are very different in size as well so we will see what we can find today all right uh i think unless there's anything else i want to go over i think uh, oh yeah, schedule well, schedule wise, just real quick. I think uh, from t since we skipped last week, but we're gonna uh, start again today. We're gonna continue our uh, be weekly schedule, so we are not gonna stream next week. Like it would be in a very predetermined schedule, but we will stream in two weeks again. Just like we're gonna pick up the same uh, schedule again. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I think Sam Morgan asked you um, asked you if you're feeling better. So are you I, feeling better? <clears throat> speaking of which, um, I do have some, like, my throat is a bit sore still. Uh, so every every now and then when I talk, I have to, like, uh, you know, do one of these. Like, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. I'm going to try to mute myself for those. But otherwise, I'm feeling pretty good. So hopefully it will stay like this because, man, I've been getting sick a lot lately. And I'm <laughs> quite literally sick of it. Yeah. All right, I guess we can start with the first one for today. Yeah, Gundam didn't help, Shiro, that's for sure. <laughs> I sobbed like a child earlier today when I was watching an anime. That was awful. If you haven't watched <laughs> Witch from Mercury Gundam, please go watch it. It's a very, very good show. All right. Back on schedule. Okay, I'll post the first address. But yes, we are on Baomung on, mm. in Crystal Data Center. <laughs> Yes, so we're not going to stay here for long. I just wanted to, like, you know, hang out in the most obvious area to give away where we are at the moment. And that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much it. All right, so the first one, this is going to be by Nozomi. Uh, this is going to be on Balmung. So we're starting here. It's going to be in Shiragana, Shiragana, even Shiragana, where it's 2 plot 27. So let's go there. So this one is quite recent, but I feel they've been working on it for a long time. This was in our whip channel, like yeah. constantly changing. Yeah, I know Nozomi being a very active uh, member of the server as well, asking a few questions here and there, helping people out. Very, very nice. And just seeing like builds come along 
as you like you know keep track of what people do and like how they change as well it's really cool like sometimes sometimes someone builds a wall and they're like oh i'm gonna build something around this specific wall type um and then they tear it all down and they do something entirely else in that house <laughs> and or they keep the wall and nothing else which is also possible yeah you know i i believe in <clears throat> that kind of build style where you do like a prototype and you can see it and then it's like, yeah, this is pretty good, but yeah. you know you can do better. Exactly. Sometimes it depends also, like, do you have, like, that issue where you, like, build in this, like, something specific, but your brain goes, I want to build something entirely different right now, so you tear it down and do something else instead? Yeah, that happens to me a lot. <laughs> and it's frustrating, but also I find the end product is, you know, it it's what I wanted in the end. Yeah, exactly. It just depends whether or not you're going to shelf that project and, like, do it again, or if you just, like, completely, you know, not never touch it again, because I had a few of those as well. I'll say, uh, for myself, I do personal projects, so I don't mind if I do that. But it is so hard when I'm doing a commission and I come uh, yeah. up with a better idea, and then, obviously, they want what we discuss, so I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be like, hey, I have a new idea. Can I do this instead? I do that to my client, sadly. <laughs> yeah. But he's at least he's on board with that for most of my stuff. All right. So yeah, again, this is Nozomi's place. Again, Ward, uh, Ward 2, Plot 27 on Balmung in Shiragana. It's very rainy at the moment. It's not a great weather, but this garden is very pretty. Oh, they got like the brick pavement out in for the uh, outside of like their little restaurant here. Very oh, nice. look at that. They're treating <clears throat> this like their own little pool. Oh, I didn't even notice. Like, I almost passed that. Thank God you noticed that. This is pretty That's cool. That's cute, actually. Yeah. That is a very cool idea for this plot, uh, plot specifically, especially since it's in the same style as uh, the frame. Uh, sorry, as the fence. It's working very well together. It doesn't look out of place at all, like you usually have for like the goblet plus this one other bridge that I forgot the name of the big uh, green one. Okay, so there were instructions. <clears throat> so when we okay. enter. When we enter, we need to go right. That's fair. I'm not going to do that. Um, I think you have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God, yeah. I think you're right. I think I do have to. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Ugh. Can I, like, find solid ground? Okay. So, this build specifically is supposed to be, as you can see, that. let me just, there you go. It's supposed to be a ruin, which is really w rare to see. Usually we see very pretty, very nice things. I'm just going to try to position myself somehow so I can like get all of the details in, but it's very hard. So this is like a desert temple, right? Yeah, it looks like um, everything's just falling apart here. Yeah, I remember seeing work of progress pictures of this before, but they like tore it down or like changed it a lot. But the the result is amazing. This is where we came from, this little hole over there. So I basically got in through the little place down there instead of a big door. Like, so, mm -hmm, go ahead. What I like <clears throat> is um, if you look up at the ceiling, so they obviously had like a second floor. They have the illusion of one. So you have the carpeting, but then you have the foundation that is obviously crumbled away. Yeah. And then, and then you have it again, but it. It could also just be like a tapestry that was above because look, it's showing the um, sky right there. Yeah, I really like the sky effect in this one, like the way the light comes through. I was hoping for someone to build something similar to this when the uh, Phasmascape came out and thank God it happened because this looks amazing. I just love the like crumbling pieces of stone also showing through the decorative ceiling with the loft because the loft is so nicely uneven right at the bottom. Yeah, it's oh, it's so gorgeous to look at. It's so pretty. And there's like so much detail like everywhere you look. Like at the, at the entrance specifically, I like the uh Naltal symbol up there using the uh one from the alliance right for port portray. Uh sim like you know, showing that this is supposed to be an old da since it's its deity and stuff. This is so cool. I like that a lot. Also that door design in general is just really good for the um Oasis bed. And the fountains here too. But yeah, if you need to look make something look more um broken down, you can definitely look at this build for some inspiration because like 
using a couch over here. I think this is like the normal lever couch, right? Where I am right now. Yep, yep. It's, it's just, just raised above uh, the <clears throat> floor a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I think, or it might be even on the floor specifically because this is all raised. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like this floor we are on right now is like uh, a loft, a uh, yellow dyed or like beige brown dyed uh, flagstone part uh, loft, I mean. Oh yeah, and hey, look at this. This is the um, the banquet table with the plaid, and they they dyed it a tan. Wait, where exactly? Sorry, I can see. Right, right here, where we're standing. Do you see? It's it. Look, look down. Oh at your feet. my god! Yeah, I was think. Yeah, you said banquet table, but it's like the the picnic table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the uh, little cloth on top. This is such a good idea for uh, to make a um little like sand. Like sand basically came through the ceiling where it broke down. Up there. Oh, that is so such a cool effect. You can do something similar with the um, hay, uh, the little haystack bed. What was it called? The straw bed. Oh with yeah, actually. Head on it. <clears throat> Ara Arafil said, "Isn't that just the farmer's bed? It could just be the farmer's bed." It could bed, be the honestly. farmer's bed, actually. Yeah, you're right. Hang on, we gotta dive in. I gotta, I gotta find this out. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's the farmer's bed. You can see the little pieces of uh straw over here. That's clever. I just used it as well to like have like little pieces of hay at the uh, outside of a wall too. It's such a cool item as well. Very niche, but very good. Also, something that I really love, using flagstone uh, steps and lofts again is very good. But look at how the break off point over here with the brick is on the flagstone step. It is so, like the staircase, I mean, sorry. This is so good. I love it so much. Well, yeah, and even just look here in the middle, it's broken, and you can see the um, the sand and the water underneath. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Like, the way that this crack looks, too, like, the way that the flagstone uh, lofts are being shaped like this, it's just, it looks super natural. Like, not super natural, but, like, it looks very natural. There you go. <laughs> and little pieces of sand down here as well, even though you have the little pieces of stone showing. It's very, very clever. This is an amazing build. This is the thing, like, it's a small, right? Yeah, and actually, th there's more. <clears throat> oh, there's wait. more? Okay, hang on. But wait, there's more. I want to look at, like, I want... <laughs> I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Like this over here, look at this action. The dunes. I s look, this is what they posted in the Work in Progress channel. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, the sand Beauty. dunes. Beauty. Very impressive. <clears throat> Those are white screens. Yeah, but also just white screens, like, tilted in certain directions, and then the Phasmascape going through it insane detail like that looks so natural as well like it's very distant or like very close sand dunes very very pretty the layers in this are insane also using a such like such a good and fitting amount of items is nice also Ashton, do you see like the how they use the ronken fireplace for the uh like trimming over here on the yeah. walls yeah like and this you can shape see here you can see the trim, but then when you go over here, it's exposed because this is broken away. Yeah, it's such a good detail, man. I love it so much. And then, of course, with the Sildene lights, which is lore-wise perfect and fitting. It's so nice. All right, you said there's more, right? There's like... Ooh, okay, okay. Go into the cave. This looks so <laughs> ominous. The cave beckons. And, oh, uh, okay. So the next instruction was uh, fall into the quicksand. Oh god, I have to jump down there? Bro, this looks scary as hell. <laughs> Are you sure you about- see, Do you see the bats and everything? It's that is so fucking cute. I love that idea so much. It's like ruins. Oh, like they're flying. They're like floated up here as well. That's such a cool idea. I gotta steal that. That is so fun. Alright, uh, so we jump down, yeah? Yeah, go into the quicksand. Yippee! Uh, I, I think I messed it up. <laughs> no, keep, keep keep walking. Oh my god! Oh, that's a capybara! Oh my god, that's scared the living shit out of me! That's someone's minion! <laughs> that's my own minion! Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I gotta keep walking? Yeah, keep walking, you gotta fall through it. Okay, hang on. Where am I? Oh my god, okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, all of the treasures have sucked me down with quicksands. Yeah. That is such a cool idea. Of the line and stuff. This is a very creative way to utilize the staircase of a small. Holy fuck. They even got the guest book over here for that. <laughs> yeah. No So are, are these uh, hapless adventures or... 
<laughs> have I, how long have you guys been here? Did you not starve? Did you, did you Seriously? eat? Were there more of you, but you have to eat each other? Oh my it was a God. party of eight, and now it's two. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at this. It's my line now. That is such a cool idea for this. Like, having the gap there, too. Um, but the only issue is... How do we get out? You gotta move to the front door, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> but this is an amazing and beautiful idea for such a fitting build as well. Ha using it in the uh, broken-down ruin of a place in Ulda. The land of riches and stuff. Very, very cool idea. I love that. Thank you for having us. So, I mean, if you guys want to visit again... Uh, words 2, plot 27, and Shiragana Balmung. This is for ge the guest book is down here if you want to leave some nice words for them. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'm looking they, forward they said, to more designs. Yeah, congrats on finding the treasure. There you go. They said it in the guest book as well. All right, thank you for having us. We're going to move on to the next build. Uh, we got to solve off Balmung. <laughs> so we go, we're going back. Um, half of our builds are on Matias today, so that's at least comfy. But we're gonna get we wanna get all of the other builds out of the way first. Let's go to the Oh new Kujani, that's fine too. <clears throat> yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like I like builds where you can just kind of explore and it's not just a house, you know? Yeah, I think we have moved past the Oh. Oh right, we are in a party we have to. There you go. Um I think we've moved past the need to have, like, a house just be a house. Like, just have it be, like, a creative outlet. <laughs> Which really pissed me off when people, like... I have seen some stuff on Twitter of people being very nasty about, like... Oh, man. I would have used this large house for all of its size. I would have failed it all. Here's an example of my shitty house. Oh, well. You know, people are entitled to... to to do it how they want, but I don't think it's nice to say, like, you yeah. should do it like this. Someone you makes know? something very creative and so something really cool and you're be just being an asshole about it and it's just, like, not the way to go, man. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing someone's large house and they had just decorated it with the Lalafell Jungle Gym. All 400 slots, it seemed. Yeah. It's... It's weird sometimes, but like, you know, it's this person's house. You have no right to tell them what to do. Even if nah. it's, it's just filled with 400 lawful jungle gems. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So this next one is by... <clears throat> uh, I would say it in German, like, Fro. Fro. It's on Zelera, Lavender Bad Sword 19, Plot 15. Let's go there. So this one is... Um, I'd say... As immersive as our other one, it doesn't have you explore, but it is a certain um, certain type of venue. Oh, okay. And like a location. On. I know which one that is. I'm very excited to see. Let's see. Plot 15. Navigation is still hard for me, guys. I still need to, like, looking at the other screen and still doing something on the side. Ugh. I can just go there. I went to the wrong one. I went to 17. <laughs> Let's see, 17, 15. Wait, yeah, you gotta it? go 15. Okay, 15. Okay, yeah, I can just follow the crowd of, like, a few people that are already in the garden. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing that garden. That garden is so, so beautiful. I love how immersive this place is. Like, it's filled to the brim of cool stuff. We gotta, like, him. Oh, that is such a creative combination for, like, the, uh, flower stall. Look at this, Ashen. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Very pretty with the frame of the uh, new... I even forgot the name. It's a new item that they added this patch, right? It's the fountain. It kind of reminds me of the humidifier in um, grocery <laughs> stores when, like, the mister comes on. Yeah, they gotta have, like... Yeah, no, they gotta water the plants. It's it's right, like that. It's yeah. Good. It's very pretty. I like how this, uh, this raised, like, gazebo is over here because, like, it's, like, it's snapping to the staircase over here. And they kind of, like... Don't make it obvious that it's floating because of the yeah. tall grass around it. That's really cool. I love porches. Oh, nice. And they get like a little private area as well where they don't have anything behind it. It's very good like this. I love to block it off like this. Yeah, this is a great use of a small. One of the one of the best small gardens 
like I've seen recently. Very, very beautiful. All right, let's head inside. <clears throat> let's see. Oh, God. I... Ah, I gotta zoom in. Yes, this one! This is so pretty. I just love this one. When I so saw this one it. is Victorian steampunk Amarat. Was that the was that the description of it? I think so. <laughs> I'm just saying when I look at Ash it. Ash is making it up. It, look for me when I saw this. Like this is like a, like aquatic themed. I think this is what the tweet said when I saw it re initially. This one is uh, by Fro again, and I was thinking Slytherin. Like, it's the color palette and the aquatic theme because, like, they're, like, under the water and stuff as well, right? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, but <laughs> it's definitely reminding me of that. And it's, like, one of those, like, gathering halls, like a small one, like a community okay. little area. Yeah. Which is very well, pretty. Well, I'm going with the steampunk Victorian. Yeah, the steampunk aspect is just, like, because of the gears over there, I think. Mainly. Yeah, and the color palette, you know? Like, this is kind of old-timey. Yeah, the Victorian part is definitely showing. I really love the framing. Also, the ceiling is very pretty. I love the way they decorated the ceiling like this. Oh, yeah, that's a gorgeous tray ceiling. Yeah, And they, nice. they use the natural light as well. All right, let's see. So I'm going to... I, I want to go over every corner, so I'm, like, starting over here. Oh, there's more, like, steampunk stuff with the uh, little bands over here, up there. From this yeah. basic cover Tildy brands. It's functional, even. It has a summoning bell. This area is so nice. Like, I love the distant, like, blue light over here in the water. It's even, like, going up and down slightly. Yeah, kind of like it's in the waves. Yeah, and it has, like, the bubble effects to it as well. Very, very pretty. I like the steampunk guys. Like, it's just, like, very, very subtle. But very pretty. So, I like this because um, they have the drapery here, so they can kind of uh, close it off if they want. Oh yeah, That's like this big, the, area. the big draper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, looking up, you can even see like they have like a ceiling window too, uh, going into the water, oh, using yeah, the look at that. the crystal tower from. That is so cool. Oh, I love the like. I now that he's mentioned like this is the stuff like you don't find out yourself like unless you go with someone else like pointing shit out. Like the drapery is so good. I love that. What do we have in this corner? Some books, bookshelves. Very, very, very nice fireplace. I like this design a lot. Yeah, that fireplace is just. I think it's one of the most popular, and it should mm. be because it's so simple. That door, I know, like, but they improved a bit on it as well. Like, I've seen a lot of variations of this design, but this one is my favorite with the um, lock rack up uh, in the front and the using the torch, the iron torch in there, because yeah. usually I I've seen like it being used with the um either it's not turned on at all or using the candles right but i prefer like the actual firewood compared to candles personally i think that the base model is just so great to work off of um as they mm. did because they obviously added these cosmos partitions and yeah. you know some more tables is that a cosmos no that's oh yeah right the cosmos partitions up there yeah yeah and oh, the uh, Someone asked, what's the little table made of? Do you oh, mean the table here? Oh, uh, it's the uh, glade. It's the glade pillar, Shiro. It's the uh, the one from, just like the, the the round glade pillar that you get from. Oh, do you get them from housing NPCs? No, you get them from crafting, I think. You craft them, yeah. Yeah, but it's very nice. It's a very, very pretty surf surface to put stuff on. It's a handy surface because it doesn't technically act like a table, so you can sink things in as well. Yeah, so unless you have something like, um, like you see how like you can walk into it, so it doesn't have a proper like hitbox because they didn't anticipate for us to do that stuff with it. <laughs> it's really pretty. Let's go back here. Over here, this is a very pretty area. Like this big window is like such a good focus for this build. Oh yeah, the window is obviously the first thing you focus on, and it has the, I, the most attention to detail. Yeah, using the Alpine Partitions. I just love the top of the Alpine Partitions. Like, this little part over here with the tr like triangle, but, like, the circular triangle, the top of it, the finish. And combining that with a variety of other items, like, in this case, I use the golden parts here. It's from the Gold Sauce counter, the corner counter, I think. 
Yeah. But yeah, using, like, having some... Oh, man, I have to go into first person for this again, because, like, I have to look at the ceiling again. Look at how pretty that is. Oop. There you go. They use the, um, I think that's fun with the glade lights as well. It's, like, just a default thing as well. So nothing big. Yeah. It's very, very pretty. Oh, they got the, uh, FC chest over here as well. Lots, like, a lot of more pipes than I noticed. Like, at, at first I thought it was just the, uh, little, you know, the cogs, uh, at the, on the other wall, but it's just so much more. Very pretty. I love this color scheme. Like, they mm -hmm. used it on the walls, but they also used it as accents for the chairs, and it um, it blends really well. Yeah, using gold, brown, gold, brown, and green as, like, the main color palette is so good. Like, the gold accents are so well done in here. We have Actually, quite a few it, items. Hmm? It's quite smart that they have um, the black uh, chair here and upholstery here. Yeah. Because at the forefront of the house, you obviously have the teal. But when mm -hmm. you go back here, you don't have the teal as much. So the teal is instead in these chairs. It's a yeah. really nice balance. It's, it's not overwhelming in one singular color. Like, the colors are very nicely spread in this build. Yeah. I really enjoy the uh, jail partitions as, like, the uh, framing for this wall behind the fireplace. Dyed gold. It fits in so well. Man, I love the top finish with the, what's it called? Uh, Mara. What are they called again, Ashen? The... The Maramba? Instrument? Marambas, yeah. Yeah, something like that. That is so pretty, I love that so much. But yeah, amazing use of a small house, like using the big ceiling you have available to you and having this big gathering hall. It's just such a cool place, just like a very nice place to hang out, like a community kind of place for an FC, for example. Oh, okay, hang on, there's the, there's the guest book if you guys want to check it out as well. Decorating is hell, housing bluebird, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> gonna add some likes so if you guys want to visit this one again this one is on zalera on crystal lavender bats word 19 plot 15. thank you so much for having us from this is amazing oh god sorry my camera is like glitching for everything at the moment all right now we are moving on to curl again another shiragana built let's see let's go there So this next one is Nokada, Nokada, Nokada. I know them. Yeah. They're constantly posting in HJC. Yeah, they've and they're been very posting helpful. a lot of builds as well, yeah. Yeah, uh, Nokada. I will just say Nokada. I'm sorry if it's something <laughs> else. The same thing as in the other streams. If we mispr mispronounce any of you guys' name, just let us know and we will fix it ASAP. I'm a big fan, though. I like his design. Yeah, sometimes the build, like uh, like you guys saying in chat, like sometimes the build can be like a majority of a singular item. Like I remember the cave that I did had like I think like seventy percent of it was just like the uh, pawns, the eastern indoor pawns, and that's it. <laughs> because like if you combine it in a good way and it's like a main structural item, then you know you just buy out the entire market on your data center. But that's just how it is. Did you see how folks? pronounces it he pronounces it like dakota so it's nakoda it's dakota go down south, to da nakoda south <laughs> nakoda south north nakoda south nakoda all right which one so sorry i got lost i got distracted again zalera no wait no i'm on curl it's correct i gotta go to shiragana this is what i'm gonna go this Sa is another really pretty garden Man, the, the garden game has been very strong recently. Like, I remember how I neglected gardens in the past. Yeah. You know, I enjoy decorating them, but my um, decorating is usually, you know, max out on the 10 grass. Yeah, I have a lot exactly. Of <laughs> I have a lot of cherry blossoms, so I guess I'll put that down. And, and lights. And that's about it. It's and I like guess gravel. I'm looking forward when they add the summer version from the contest of the, um, what's it called? The, the big ass tree with the leaves falling down, the pink one. Not, it's not the cherry blossom one, it's a different one. Visteria? Oh yeah, the Visteria, yeah. Yeah, once they add like the proper green version of it, like it's gonna be so good to make like gardens very cluttered and full of foliage without like spending too many slots on it. 
Because like oh. we just we just don't have like a normal ass green tree. Like there's always yeah. a gimmick to it. It looks like we just got raided by Fanina. Oh thank you, Fanina, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Hello everyone, welcome. Hope you had a great stream. We are currently checking out some houses on the Crystal Data Center. Uh, doing a little tour for stuff we haven't, you know, seen. Well, we have seen it, but we wanted to visit it and check it out ourselves in-game uh, during our hiatus. So yeah, hope you guys had a great stream. Uh, welcome to everyone who's new. And we're gonna check out a place right now. In I'm gonna say the address again if you guys want to follow along with us. It is on Curl on the Crystal Data Center in Shiragana, Ward 28, Plot 37. Which is, I think, it's is it the big plot? Like, the, no, it's never mind. It's the. No, like, it's a large. No, I thought I thought it was like the very nice plot over there with the little cave behind it. Oh yeah, that's the medium. Yeah. I, I'm surprised we like got to visit like two Shiragana places today because usually we never have Shiragana places for some reason. True. It's like they're so rare these, these days, but. Holy fuck, this garden. Isn't it gorgeous? This layout is such a... Oh, this focus point will be Parkside Tree to and the fountain. That is very, very pretty how it opens up in the all the different segments. I forgot they added the Charlian lampposts, honestly. Because I never see anyone use them, really. It really works for this build. It really does, because, well, it's part of the same housing skin and stuff as well. Very nice with a tree over here, very pretty. But what matters is on the inside, so let's go check it out. What N Nakoda has prepared for us. <laughs> Nakoda! <Okay>. Nakoda! <laughs> Alright, oh god, hang on. Mm. Yes, this one. This is an extremely beautiful build. So this one was the Charlian, um, what's it called again? The astronomy place. I forgot the name. Observatorium. Obser observatory? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, observatory. Thank you. That is such a cool idea. Okay, let's not look at the main uh, focus point for now. I just want to look at all of the other stuff first. I like this little window um, that's made right here, and it kind of, it extends out a little bit. It's like a terrarium. In yeah, a way. either it's a uh, terrarium or it's basically like an inside-outside garden thing. So it's yeah, uh, yeah. so it's technically in the building, but it's connecting to the outside, which is really pretty. I like that a lot. Very nice. Okay, and again, if you guys want to visit, here's the like little guest book too. Welcome to the study. Stay and ponder about space as much as you want. That's cute. That's very very cute. I like the bookshelf they did. Like they turned around the half bookshelf thingy over here. Yeah, and even the little planter pot. It's that uh, Ishgar display stand. And yeah, it works really well. That's this. very pretty in here. I'm surprised. Like the snapping height for this thing is not very. Like it's just very low. I noticed that as well in a build I'm doing at the moment. Those books are, like, half a Lalafell. Like, half a European tourist. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Those are massive. I don't know why they're so big in the bookshelf specifically, in the half bookshelf. But, uh, did you notice that? Because, like, usually books are, like, half of their height. I don't know why uh. they are so big specifically. Like, I can't even read that shit. They're dictionaries. <laughs> Also, very nice detail with, like, the shelving made out of the, uh, manor, uh, sorry, the, uh, Fort Thames fireplace. Very nice, very nice. But, yeah, overall, you will see those big-ass windows. Let's check them out. So, this is a beautiful, beautiful observatory design using all the different items to create, like, the planets in the distance. That is such a cool idea. I love it so much. Like, the glitter as well... I don't remember what was this glitter effect from Ashen. It is the like a sparkling effect. The dead man's treasure, I believe. Is it the spoil? Because it looks well, more and the new. Undersea, and the undersea spoils. Because it looks more newish to me. The glitter effect because it's more like prism shaped. Okay, I can't get behind the walls too close. It's those gold bars from the undersea spoils. So it is just the gold bars. Nice. That's very good. What about the little star dots over here as well? Just like the small star. Oh, Wait. those tiny little Wait, am I... Am I tripping? For some reason, it looks like the... Because of the light effect that the, um... The, oh, it's the... the crystal array. Heavenly ornamental array. So it is a new item. Yeah, I was like, I don't recognize the effect being that common. 
But do you guys see how like the light because of like this global illumination over here? And if you move, if I move my mouse, like the stars are moving as well. I like that effect a lot. It's a bit trippy. Very nice planets. Very very good. Oh, check out the floor and how uh, they layered it with the gold and the marble. Yeah, the steps here are very good using the um, the little alcove, the marble alcove, and the. Uh, that's the bookshelf, right? The uh, Fafnir bookshelf, probably? Yeah, yeah, the Hanish one. Yeah, you can always tell about like this very specific uh, gold for some reason. It's like... It's, it's kind of tarnished a little bit. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It looks a bit... But, you know, makes sense if you walk on it every single time, so... I love how this, in this, like, seating area, right? Like, just to study and chill, like, the, book the bookshelves over here are so cute. But I love how this carpet is just not straight. Does that make sense? It's just like, the way it's just like shifted a bit. That adds so much more interest to this, because like, if this would be just like, in, like based on the same grid as the circus over here, it just wouldn't have the same feeling to it. It just looks a bit more, you know, used. Like, um, yeah, and also it, it is a lot visually interesting for it to be um, not symmetric. Yes. Obviously. So if you have carpets and stuff, don't always place them just normally straight aligned with everything else. Shift them around a bit, because like when you walk around, like they automatically shift around a bit as well. Sometimes you fix it, but in this case they left it like this, and I really like that. Also, the Charlene flying beneath it is so nice. Very, very pretty seating area. Amazing, amazing. Let's see what we have here. Very beautiful bookshelf design. Ooh! Well, I like what combination of the Charlie and cab cabinet up there, Ashen, over here. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. And putting the um, it's like this, like the Charlie and f like sink, I think. Like uh, this, the this slight curvature makes me think it, it's it, the sink. It is, yeah, the yeah. yeah. But I know that for a fact, like working with those bookshelves, like they just use the uh, framing of the bookshelves of the. Uh, scholastic, sc scholastic. What do they call scholastic? Yeah, yeah, scholastic. Bookshelves, but they used another bookshelf because they didn't want to deal with that because it's awful. It really is, but yeah. honestly, I prefer this look a lot. It's so much like it's so much slimmer, but I do prefer like the books on the inside of the other bookshelf personally because like you can see it over here, it's like more, like, you know, structured. It's not just entirely random. And I just don't like the, like, that it's, like, blue or red, yellow, green, blue, red, yellow, green. And it's just, like, repeating colors and just very unorganized. Well, I, I I would say, you know, it's organized right here because this is, I guess, where they would do their studies. And then they might just haphazardly put it away. Yeah, you, just, there. you just sit here and eat your uh, fish, bread, whatever they have in Charlie. And then you go, like, Eureka. And then you have, like, a, you put up, like, the... E equals MC squared formula up here. I, yeah. I I just love green like uh boards like this. It's very pretty. Nice framing with the Charlene table over here too. Nice, nice. And then this part. Oh they have the <laughs> they put up the trophy from the uh new um tribe quests. That is very nice. Because I haven't seen it in game. Like I seen it when I previewed it, but that's pretty much it. Oh, that's cute, yeah. <clears throat> Very, very nice. Stacked Charlie and book cabinets. Getting the Charlie and cabinets is a nightmare, and they have a lot of them. Like, they are from Eureka lockboxes, dude. You have to do Eureka for them, and a lot of people don't want, really want to do them. I like this window. It's a little bit more private, and they have the drape going down, so you can't see the, st uh, the stars. Yeah, I like the rain effect that they have. Like, they have this going throughout the entire build. It's really cool, really nice. I like the, also like the finally like an immersive usage of the uh, you know, plant. I don't know what this item is called actually. This one. Where, uh, which one? Like the lights with this uh, with the stars and the moon. It's the heavenly ornamental array, I believe. Oh, so wait, that's the same thing that makes it glow over here. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't. Well, even... no, so, no. Sorry, not the glow. It made those little prisms. Like oh, the, the, ah, the, the stars. Green. Okay, because when I said prisms, I meant like the the glowing effect. Okay, I see. Uh, what? Oh, are you? I didn't even notice a pillar design. This is a very pretty pillar using a multiple of the marble pillars. 
Oh, yeah, for the base. Mm -hmm. That is one of the prettiest builds I've ever seen. Damn, that is so cool how custom it is. And it's just, like, the same, like, it's, almost, it's like, just a few of them put together, and then you just lift them up on different heights. That's literally it, but it's so good. It's, like, oh, we, three or four of them. We should talk about the ceiling. So, uh, Nakoda yes. always does amazing ceilings. I love... The uh, layers, they, yeah. Yeah, the layers. Insane. Like, if, how many layers do we have? One. Like, first of all, the marble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It goes up to seven when you count the uh, carpet over here. And then even more, just going back down and going back up over here. This is a very pretty lamp design. Or like a, a chandelier, more like. What is that? Like, so that's the, um, what's it called? The, this thing over here, the, the, the legs of it. It's the... I forget what it's called. I forgot the yeah. proper name of it. That's so nice. I like the framing over here as well. Going from like square into circular. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, this chandelier is very pretty. I think they have like a small version of this, yeah, over here. With this ceiling. Using the fountain. Oh, it is a little one, yeah. Small ver like the the um Fafnir and lights is just like they're just very very pretty in general. We have seen that like last stream I think. We had like amazing usages of this item. Very beautiful Charlie and Veem builds. I love it so much. Every again, I'm so happy we can finally see Charlotte Charlie and builds because like, remember how like with they we were thinking about oh one day we're gonna go to Charlie and and we're gonna get items that fit in there. And we never got them, and then finally in the end, Walker, like it, this tile popped off. It's just yeah. so fun. It's just so fun to look back on that. Thank I mean, you. they could still use more um, Charlene furniture, though. Yeah, some of it has been very different to what we've seen before. But I think we we have a few good items this far. We can definitely work with it as people show it, show and. Uh, post stuff on Twitter and our Discord, so... Alright! This has been an amazing build. Again, leave some nice comments if you visit. Make sure to check it out yourself in-game. This was by Nak Nakoda. Um, Carl Shiragana, Wars 28, Plot 37. Alright, give me one second. My voice was dying on me again. <laughs> oh no! Yep! It's still not better. All right, let's go check out the next one. So the next three are all on Matthias. We are going a bit faster today, and we're going to probably end a bit earlier, just like as an FYI for you guys. Again, I haven't recovered. <laughs> Ashen is also a bit short on time today, or rather uh, a bit. I'm exhausted, dude. She's Sorry. exhausted. Yeah, you can you can tell what uh, you can tell them what you told me because you went through something today. Yeah, last night my power went out, and um, <laughs> it's winter, so that kind of sucked. <laughs> and um, I didn't know when it was going to come back, and I'm a creature of comforts, guys. I need my, um, I need my noise. <laughs> I have, like, a lot of noise when I sleep. <laughs> you have, like, and a noise so... machine or, like, sounds playing or something? Yeah, I have a sound machine, so I'm oh. trying to sleep, and, and my kid slept with me because, you know, it's dark and scary when it happened. <laughs> so, uh, on top of that, I was just miserable, and then, luckily, the power came back on um, around, like, 3, 4 a.m., but I couldn't just go back to sleep, and then I had to get back up almost immediately. So, I'm, I'm pretty tired, guys. Yeah, so tonight is gonna be a bit shorter. Also, I gotta head out tomorrow morning as well and stuff. So yeah, just for you guys to know, so we don't have as many builds, so we have like six builds today in total. But it should be fine. We have a lot of stuff coming our way because like next week or like a next stream is gonna be the last NA build. And after that we're gonna check out Europe as well, which has an entirely different community. So it's gonna be very good to see what they come up with. I say they as, I'm, as if I'm not a part of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah it'd be <clears throat> exciting to go to your stomping grounds. Uh... <laughs> All right, so this one is gonna be Matthias, uh, Matthias, uh, Mist Ward Six Blood Nine. This one is by Riku. What's up? This one's very pretty. <clears throat> yeah, I do remember this one. 
I'd say in the same vein. I'm a strong um, swordfish. Yes, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, well, I got someone was on a caribou. How'd you get a caribou? What? <laughs> Zatanya was on a caribou. <laughs> Is that from Mog Station? Wait, I, I, I don't know which one that is actually right now. Can you get back on it? <laughs> Six. It's <was> pretty cool. <laughs> reindeer. Oh, okay. Oh, it was with reindeer? Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> is, where is fucking. Oh, I can't see the nine because it was covered by the housing icon. This was from 2022. Where was I? Do I have that? The reindeer? Yeah. Yeah, what? I'm pretty sure you have it. I have it too. <laughs> the size difference is pretty massive. Ooh, this entrance. Okay, let's go over the garden because this entrance is sick. Look at how they extended the entrance of this. They, oh, entirely, yeah, an they entirely changed the, the shape of the outside of this place. That is so creative. I love that. They have like, a little garden here too. A little private area. Oh, yeah. Aww. Very nice. Very pretty. Very in character. Like, this is all like whitish pink too. And the exterior, like, all of it is very in beam. Very pretty. Alright, but let's head inside because that's what the, where the good stuff is at. This one is so cool. I was hoping this one would still be up, which it is. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. All right. So, again, this one is by, let's see, it's by uh, Riku Mist Matthias Word 9 Plot. <laughs> Word 6 Plot 9. Nice. 69. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, this one is super pretty. The usage of the space in a small, insane. Again, you will see what I mean. So, we have this big atrium area over here and just opens up so much all the way up to the ceiling very pretty it's like yeah. a, a very magical place it's like a witch in a hut kind of place oh yeah yeah which is what we mentioned earlier with the same beam oh my god when i came here earlier i did not know there's a oh my more. god oh my god there's more fuck okay hang on hang on let's not get ahead of ourselves look at this giant working table that is like so alchemist. cool. Yo, horizontal. Oh god, horizontal Adam. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support. But yeah, this table. There's so much to look at. So many cool items. They even like floated the. Uh, what is it? The garden, the botanist table over here to get this little plant in there. Yep, yep, yep. There's so much. I think uh, Shiro for you this is pretty good for uh, as well, right? Like this little cottage, like a cool cottage stuff. I love the witchy cottage vibes, yes. It's very pretty. Very, very nice. I like the blue flame. So this Halloween item, right? The blue flame in there, it's such a shame that it was limited time because like I, I couldn't like wrap my hand around what to use it for because it's also like a casting light. So it, like it casts shadows on items. Like do you see how like it casts a shadow, like the color blue is just fading out over here on the flower? Oh, it's so yeah. Good. Very, very pretty. And then this very comfy looking window. I, I think I have to like ground sit on it, but I think it will work. Yeah, this is so cute. I love how picturesque um, and like almost like a Jeep pose spot this is. Yeah, this is so good. I The light up there is giving me like, I thought it was just my game, like me being too distant from it. But it's a bit fucked up there. It's because <laughs> of the, the, the lofts. Yeah, sometimes it can be very funky, but just this place is so cute with the teddy bear as well. I love it so much. This is very, very cute. Big open window. Again, same thing with the cool. Wait. What is the... What is the blue glow effect? The blue glow effect. Like, it's, it's, like it's like, it's like, it's uh, like, uh, the light box, right? Oh, that's from the new thing from the Island Sanctuary, I believe. Wait, it's hang on, I gotta the, um... Where are you? I can't see it. It's too far in the wall, I can't see it. 
In the fairy lamp, yeah. It's a fairy lamp? Oh my god, I gotta use this so much. Because I didn't remember seeing that too much. It's so pretty with the cool effect of the outside. Fairy w pendant wall lamp. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, you get it from Island Sanctuary. In I, the, um... I, I haven't finished it. No. What? Come I on. It's still level 18. So maybe it's available to me that I just haven't seen. Alright, let's check this little place out. I like this, like, the kitchen area in here, too. Very nice. Oh, I can't get up there. It's too high. With fish yeah, little skewers. Legs. Yeah, this looks like a, like a typical lot. This looks a lot like my re like I had like a uh, separate like garden house thingy at my parents' place, which was very nice and reminds me a lot of this. It's very nice. I like the round windows here too. Very I pretty. like how low it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like adding this this entire like section up here with a loft. Just getting here is just so cool. Oh, Sprout Previous is. This is all in a small. This feels so much bigger than a small. Like, just like standing here and like, hang on, let me look up. Look at the ceiling. All the way up there. And all the windows, like, this place is like surrounded by windows. It's like so much light coming into this place. Very lovely. Yeah, they use the space really well with the vertical. Mm -hmm. um, you have all this empty space right here, but it works. Yeah. Also, it just doesn't look like it's unfitting because, like, it looks structurally sound because of the framing here with the uh, natural wooden beam. Instead of just having, like, a, like, just this part over here with the, uh... Yeah, I think another wooden beam would be very nice in here to cut this part off. Oh, this you is... think? Yeah. Oh, right there, yeah. Yeah, over here. But otherwise, this is amazing. I like the... Oh, you can see the moon over there. I like that they added the moon in the biggest um, part right there. Mm hmm It's very cute. It's very, very nice. I like the round bookshelf. This is a cool design, actually. Like, having the circular shape for the bookshelf. Yeah, well, it works with <clears> the <throat> kind of witchy, whimsical vibe that this cottage mm -hmm. is kind of going for. Insane. So, yeah, if you guys need inspiration, this is amazing inspiration for, like, a cottage kind of place for a small house. Um, and there's more. We found apparently, out. there's more. So let's go through the hidden bookshelf. Is there more? Oh, there is. I was like, is this just like in like a utility closet? But no, it's like actually decorated down here. Wow. So far, someone said like when I said the uh, what was it? Alize, you said it's like oh they probably ran out of slots to place that. No, they absolutely didn't run out of slots. They have something down here. Oh, this is so uh, cool. This is like elevated. This is over the main, like, this is not the ground floor. It's like cuts into it. A beautiful little, little like, lounge area. Oh, this is really nice, yeah. I like Very it different from upstairs. I know, right? It looks more, it looks less like cottage, but the thing about this is, right, like, you can see that the walls are like all very rough stone. It makes sense because like this is a basement, right? So in a small, like, you know, you have like those smalls in the goblet and stuff that sometimes have like windows in the basements. Yeah, you're right. And it seems like it's kind of carved into the earth there. Yeah, exactly. And then you go out, it's like the side of a mountain or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then you just drop dead because like you fall into the sea or something. But this is very, very pretty. Let's let's just sit down over here. Because like some in the past it would bug me with the um having windows and basements and stuff. But that was like when I was still like, hey, this is a basement. Uh, you gotta use it as a basement. What the fuck? You're breaking my immersion. You're breaking my immersion. But yeah. Very nice, very pretty. Also, oh I forgot to put up music. Sorry about that. One sec. Just put I up told you. Yeah, I know, I know, but you know, I pl I always play in silence or listening to like D and D campaigns, so I'm not used to having like music playing in the background when I talk to people. In this case, to all of you and Ashen, of course. All right, very very nice place. Thank you so much for having us. Again, this one is by uh, this one was by Riku on Matthias Matthias. How do you pronounce it? Um, Matthias? 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 Okay, we're gonna... Like, every time we try, we, we don't know how to pronounce things. We're gonna go into, like, a southern accent. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Gotta go to Matthias. 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 Uh, Mistward Six... 
Mistward 6 part 9. I did where was the guest book? I don't think I've was it at the entrance? I think it was, right? I oh it's up here. There you go. So if you guys want to visit yourself, make sure to leave some nice stuff in here as well. Very, very nice. Alright, let's walk on over to the second to last build. This one is by Saren. We are like <laughs> we are like three or four of Saren's places, but <laughs> We had to, like, you know, shrink it down a little bit due to us not being, like, you know, a bit tighter on time and obviously can't featuring, like, the same person, like, five times in a single episode is also not, you know, even though all of those builds are very pretty. I wonder if they're crystal based, you know, or if they just happen to just do a lot of commissions. <laughs> yeah, maybe, actually. This one is Shirogana again. We have three Shirogana plots again. Like, uh, in total, I mean. I wish you could teleport from, like, you can use the Ishgard and the uh, Kugana uh, crystal to teleport to other servers. But since it's not, like, proper serve, like, proper city states for whatever reason, they just won't let you. Alright, Crystal, Matthias, Shiragana, Word 9, Plot 4. So this one is based off of a game. Which one is that? What game is that? Or do you want to keep it a secret until then? I also like, it. Yeah, you can say keep, something. I'll keep it a secret. Okay. Uh, okay. Where, where are you going? I'm not quite sure. I got lost. You don't have to go anywhere. We're yeah, I, I'm so used to swap. Like we, we swapped service three times before, but now it's all on Matias. I'm like, I got to go somewhere oh else. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I'm the one dying over here. No, Mina can't even teleport because they don't have any gold to teleport on. No, I'm so oh, sorry. I, ha I have some money where I. Oh, yeah, where, go steal some I... money. Go steal steal some money from Ashton. She's gonna help you out with that, so you can come with yeah, us. Yeah, where, where are you? I'll find you. <laughs> no, let me help. <laughs> Work nine. Ugh, no Volk. <laughs> what did you say? Hang on, now I gotta check. Please don't save it ever again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a timeout and hang on. I can't, I can't, I'm not locked into Streamlabs. You, you are lucky, Volkod, I can't time you out. Oh my god. Plot 4. Which one is Plot 4? Oh, uh, yeah. There's an Eve right, right next to it. You'll have to go up the stairs. Uh, oh! Up here, okay. I love those little alleyways. Uh, not even an alleyway, it's like just a staircase next to a cliff. But you know what I mean. A right, very, very simple garden. Oh, let me just close this shut here. There you go. A very orange, that's for sure. It's very fitting with the sun setting right now in game. <laughs> oh, it is, yeah. Very nice. Such a nice atmosphere over here. This is a good plot. I like this a lot, especially since the neighbors are all also Shirogan houses and stuff. It kind of has a great view that's not like blocked by anything. Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Okay, so this is based off the game Stray. It's where mm. you get to play as a cat, and this is one of like the kind of um, kind of headquarters that you have. I, oh. I, I, kind of like a save room. Okay, be before we go into that, thank you so much for those words, since I mean, it means a lot. Because, like, you know, this is what, what we do. We just, like, we just want to provide some background noise for you guys to build in and stuff. So, this is very nice to hear that you enjoy the streams. Hopefully, we can provide yeah. more of that. All right, back to housing. I have played Stray, and I have not remembered any single thing. <laughs> You played but didn't absorb. <laughs> okay. Yes, exactly. I felt immersed at the moment, but for some reason it's just, you know, the areas just didn't click with me. But I remember the futuristic combination with the aesthetics of these places you were in, and I remember the color pattern of this place. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, you know, I, I missed my time to make a cat joke. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was, I was going to say that you play as a cat, a kitty cat. 
Oh my god. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, very. You got it. You got it out of his system. Congrats, Ashley. <laughs> kitty, okay. kitty cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty cat. Kitty cat. All right, but yeah, this locker entrance is really cool with like the metal door. Such a cool idea. Let's see. Yeah, it's a uh, kind of like a cyberpunk city esque. Mm -hmm. Let's go upstairs. I didn't, I didn't turn, look around too much so far. I, like I wanted to absorb the entrance because, as you said, I didn't absorb it. Now I want to do that to make up for it. Very cool detail here with the uh, little pin boards with the tool rack over here. Nice, nice. I love the, like this window is just absolutely cool. Like having a window next to a uh, staircase that is curved like this is such a cool idea. And of course, all the pretty lights, the cyberpunk lights, and having like Kagan in the background really fits the, brings the whole theme home. Yeah, the Kagani one surprisingly steampunk. Yeah, I mean like steampunk, steampunk? You mean cyberpunk? Uh, oh, cyberpunk. Sorry. <laughs> I was about to say because like cyberpunk is like they mix a lot of like Japanese influence into into like futuristic yeah. stuff in this. Well, it's really good. I was just like perfect for my size. Holy shit. It this is, is like this do. is like made for me. So pretty. Let's. Wanna, I I don't want to glitch into the ceiling, so I'm gonna be. Well, what did I say? <laughs> I'm stuck. Fuck. I'm st I'm actually stuck. Okay, hang on. I gotta teleport to the entrance. <laughs> I was like, man, I gotta be careful with that, and I immediately get stuck the second I say that. But yeah, you this is it. such. Nah, I I don't. I can I can just glitch in it. There you go. This is gonna be fine. I think I can just dose. Oh, I cannot because I'm glitched inside. But yeah, this is such a very, very comfy little corner. I forgot that I hit the button to make my character look at me. And I got scared by that. <laughs> I like uh, the drapery and how mm. it's kind of strung together here in the middle. Yeah, it's perfect for a cat. It's very comfy, but there will scratch a lot of that. Very pretty. I like the detail on the ceiling over here. Let's go downstairs again. Ugh. This flooring, right? Like, that's the Razad Han flooring, right? I have never seen anyone use it before. This is such a cool use for it. Oh, you're right. You, you, yeah. know, you know why I know that this is the Razad Han like, floor? Because, like, every time we finish a raid and I just jump in between those shapes on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> While talking on voice chat with my raid members. This is so fitting. Very cool. Man, this window, those windows look so pretty. Yeah, this one's my favorite window. I remember Saren made a kind of like a video or a gif of it, and it's using the, the pay to win carbuncle here. Yeah, from the, Hog Station. the slide effect. It's like, like there's an advertisement, like a hollow advertisement on the outside of the building. Or like part, even part of a window, which is super fucking cool. I love it so much. We here. Sure, you gotta move your character. I, I want to look at this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they used a the honeypot. Okay, I was like, what, what was that again? Oh, right, they used a the honeypot for the uh, plant over here. Very yeah. Nice. Very pretty. I love this cat bat. This <laughs> yeah, it was like <laughs> making. I have like a cat on top of a cat bat as well. This is the best place for the uh, for the stray cat. Very comfy. What are you pointing? It's like a cat tree over here. I, I should not have went where they pointed me. Why did I <laughs> listen to them? Oh my fucking god. He tricked you. Let's go back to that again. This is so cool. I I actually let me let me pull up like pictures from Stray. I wanna I wanna compare directly. Well, I would say Saren often um does a lot of thematic builds. They did the Bloodborne, they did this, and uh, Hal. They did Hal's bathroom, I believe, or yeah. bedroom. I wanted to visit the Bloodborne one. Like, that was my favorite one of Zern. That's how like I found them back then as well. And so, sadly, it wasn't available, right? Like, it was either, it was torn down. It was gone, yeah. Oh, I was so sad about that. Oh, I what see the What they used to mm -hmm. make the window glass? A window glass? I think that's an aquarium. Either, yeah, the blue glow, yeah, it's an aquarium. Like the uh, T4 aquarium? Yeah, you can't get a, a blue tint unless it's an aquarium. Wait, no, like. never mind. It's Is it a shadow? No, it's sorry? just it's just a rain partition. It's just the, like the blue glow from it is like this part over here where my mouse is. It's just from the partition. 
Oh, the waterfall partition. Yeah. Yeah. Which wait? What? Or am I talking about a different window over here? Mm, oh There's no glass, right? It's just a partition. I don't, I don't think this one has glass. Maybe yeah. I don't know. I thought it was like I thought the blue glow is aquarium, but no, it's not. It's just like from the effect itself. I'm still looking okay. at so much so, stuff. Hang so you on. pulled up. Uh, you pulled up stuff to compare. I looked at it, but I didn't find like I I typed in like keywords, but since stray is not quite the uh you know it's a common word, I didn't find any pictures. Can you find them for me? Because I don't know what I'm looking for, you know. If you couldn't, f okay, hold on. <laughs> Maybe you can find something and send me, and I'll pull it up on stream for you guys to look at as well. Meanwhile, I'll look at the <laughs> like how Sint is up here in the uh up here in the closet. See, it's so cute. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to... Can I sit on the edge of this? Nope. And I'm not gonna glitch into it again. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. I tried Stray Game, but like I found pictures of interiors, but I wasn't sure if it's like the cat's place, and it didn't look similar to what we have here. Okay, I haven't played this, so I'm just going off of what looks similar. You sounded like you did. No, I just, I sound like an authority because I have to, but... <laughs> oh, what? Jesus, okay, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, though. Yeah, in the meantime, oh my god, hang on. Let's just, let me catch up with chat because I did also fix some, like, technical difficulties. Like, I can read chat properly on my second monitor now. Um, and I'm very happy about that. But the other thing is just like, you know, keeping track with all of that. And it's okay, Shiro, don't, don't worry about it. Like, I know Viola is very tall, and but the window is also very tall, but I wanted to get like a nice front view. There's one. I don't know if it's... To find a picture? Let's see. A Volk sent me one. He's faster than you, Ashen. I'm sorry. Faster? Well, I, no, I just sent it. <laughs> we could we could have done it at the same time. It's a different picture. Oh, okay. Well, again, I have not played the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me pull it up. Hang on, I gotta gotta swap scenes for this one. Um. Oh fuck! I forgot to. Uh, hang on. Ugh. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to um. Alright guys, this is Stray. I forgot to enable studio mode before I swapped the fucking image. I'm sorry. What the heck are you doing? Don't ignore that. <laughs> Alright, here's the picture for Stray. Shut up. This is a okay, picture of Stray. Yeah. Let's like, put this up. like, And then I, we I go back it. to... Yeah, I can definitely see. Like, this is very similar. Like, I swapped to the live scene. And it looked very, very similar. Almost exactly the same. That is the very lighting cool. And, the lighting you know, is on point, basically. Yeah, now that you can see in game what it looks like, the lighting in the game is just so good. Like they improved it a lot in the past few years, that's for sure. You can see the, like the painting of the mural in the background too. It's very nice. Again, let's go back to the. That was not the in-game screen. There you go. We got it now. You're, you're doing so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta you gotta get used to all that stuff first. It's still brand new for me. All right, but yeah, let's uh, move on to the next build because this build was amazing. So you guys gotta check it out as well. Hang on, where's the guestbook? Wait, where is the guestbook? Um, <gasps> I might not have one. <clears throat> no, I don't see an arrow as well. Like I don't see a white arrow to indicate like a guestbook. No. Put a guest. Oh no, they had like a guest book on the outside. Hang on. <clears throat> yeah. I'm on my way. There we go. Thank you so much for having us, Saren. Amazing and beautiful builds. Very good. Like, this is like you captured the lighting so well in game as well. From this stray game. Also, <laughs> it was fitting that the <laughs> image and show off was cast before as well. <laughs> It, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> it worked out perfectly, yeah. All according to Keikaku. Alright, uh, let's go and check out the last place for today. 
Uh, this one is by Astra. We've visit visited their builds uh, in the previous stream, or streams even, I think. Uh, this one is on Matthias still. We are going to Lavender Bats, Ward 15, Plot 31. Well, we didn't get a chance to visit, but uh, we have featured them in <clears throat> some video. And I I'm, I'm a big fan of Astra. I really yeah. like Astra's builds. Astra does like very different stuff every single time. And it's very, very refreshing to look at the stuff I create because it's very nicely layered. It's not too much. It's just the perf right amount of everything, honestly. I wanted to see one of their builds, which unfortunately was locked. It was a smoking lounge. Yeah, it was, it was so, so good. good because like it used a huge, like a very nice amount sp uh, of a space inside. And the wall paneling. Oh my god, Do you I can pull up the picture if you want to. Uh, sure, yeah. Let's let's pull it up one sec, because this is this is very pretty. Um, let's scroll up a bit. Unless you find it first again. I'm not even looking. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe Volt can find it. Oh, now you're just being salty about it. No. Just because he was faster than you for the stray build. Whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever. I can't find it. Can't... Okay, I'll look for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pulling it up. I'm faster. Fuck, I'm not faster. I found it. Do I? Okay. Just gotta save the image and... <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it's unfortunate sometimes coming so late to these things because um, our problem with Primal was everything we wanted to look at was um, demolished or closed. Yeah. And in this case, it was... Um, this one was locked. We had a few... <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. So look at how cool this one looks. Like, the wall paneling is just so creative. I love the combination of the green and the browns together. The atmosphere, it looks like a... Not quite like a pub, but it looks like a posh pub, kind of. Does that make sense? Uh, sure. I've never like, been, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks just very, very cool, and it has a lot of space. It looks like a very nice, uh, what do you call it? Like a venue. Hang on, there's, yeah. so, there's so much seating in this area, too. It, def it was labeled as a smoker's lounge. And when I think like a smoker's lounge, I think, you know, the dark, um, the dark wood and the dark tones. Yeah. And this is very reminiscent of that. It's definitely very cool. Let's see one more image. Like they have like a cool office space as well, if I remember. Yeah, this is so pretty. But again, sadly, it's torn down. And hopefully as we like, you know, do more tours and like check out what you guys built and have specific beams in mind we will be able to catch up with stuff before it's a year later. Yes, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to uh, back to the last builds. We have a build of Astro. Astro, sorry. Um, 15, 31. So this one's a tavern. You know, like, if we don't get a lounge or a pub, we get a tavern instead. But this was, like, my favorite. Like, I was looking forward to this one the most today. 31. Let's go check it out. Where is 31? I don't hear. Oh, it's next to the apartments. I see. Yeah, I just take that one and run. I don't... There might be one faster. I don't know. I mean, this is, like, just this big bridge. I like this one a lot. One. Oh, one sec. I got a sneeze. One sec. Bless you. Gesundheit. I sneeze like an old man, like a father would do, like with a big Russia. Do, do you scare Mason when it happens? Yeah, he, he jumps sometimes. Yeah, he does. Oh. Uh, all right. It's a very nice garden. I can already tell. Very nice foliage usage. I always wonder with commissions, like, do they do the garden too? Because sometimes FCs want to do it themselves. Yeah, I sometimes hear about that, but like, some, like, or like, would you ask extra for that? Because usually people hire you for interiors, right? So. Oh, yeah, I charge extra. If I have to yeah. do the yard. Oh. <laughs> Someone here too. Very pretty. Yeah, I always like consider the garden like part of what I build because, you know, you can do it in the same beam, right? 
So. I mean, I guess I'm not good at the <laughs> garden. So. I mean, I guess so you are good with good gardens. I, I I'm okay. I I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to rate myself. Good out of ten. Oh. Good out of ten. Thank yeah. you for opening the door for us. So yeah, this is like a very oh god. So many people hang on. I gotta like, okay, you guys go, like, you know, sit down and stuff so I can look at the entrance. Thank you. This is such a pretty entrance over the side windows over here, too. I love the grass floor, like the entrance, too. Like, they use the grass floor for throughout this entire build. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a nice little indoor outdoor. Yeah, I like the little waiting room you're in, it's kind of cute. Yeah, it's like a like the mud room, basically. It's so good. This build is it two floor builds? Two as in, floor. I mean two floors and like you we can go upstairs. As in custom upstairs. Ah There you go. I like that okay, so normally when there's loft builds, they have it to where it's just one side. But mm -hmm. this one, obviously the the fake ceiling kind of mm -hmm. extends over and it um i don't see that too often you know people don't want to obscure too much yeah but this is like the structure is there in this build like it just feels like it's very very believable let's go over here this is oh so this is like a little stage look at this oh it is like, little like a very light. teeny teeny tiny this is like where they uh, force the bards to like put up like play music and stuff Oh, uh, do we have a bard? <laughs> Does, yeah, if you if like if you have a bard and you you can play some music, go ahead and stand here and play some some tunes for us. I'm gonna throw like a gold coin your way. I don't have money on this character, do I? I do. Never mind. Very nice. Very pretty window. If Sin wouldn't be standing in here. <laughs> he had to take Just, over Volk's spot. Yeah, exactly. Volk was behind the counter. He was busy. Speaking of which, let's go behind the counter to check this out. This is very cool. I like the raised countertop as well. Like, you have to sit down to actually reach it, which is very realistic. Yo, the... Oh, the banner. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate your support. Three months in a row. Uh, two months in a row. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wobbling along. Yes, feel free to visit with us as well. This place is... So this place has a lot of sitting areas as well for you guys to sit down at. It's a lot of character in here. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I just noticed, are the walls kind of like purple? Yeah, the walls are purple. Yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like very subtle. Like, if I turn off my shader, it's a bit more visible, but like, it's just like very, very dark purple. Well, no, that is dark purple, but look, and the other ones are different colored. This is a bit lighter, yeah. So it's not like the same that, throughout. Yeah. It adds like a little bit of charm to it, because it's like not just like the same thing everywhere. It has like variation to it. Like this, these walls over here are like dark. Either it's suit black. I think it's suit black. Over here. The furniture? No, the, the wall behind me. That's no. Your your shaders are out of control. That's a pink. That's purple. What? This is not the same purple as the. Look at this wall next to it. It's not purple. This one is to me. Turn turn your shader off. This is this is not purple, Ashen. Am I blind? Oh my god. I, are you looking at the same wall? Like the one behind me? Uh, let me turn my shader off. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should turn your shader off. Yeah, that's purple! I'm gonna, Is it? I'm gonna start a poll right now. Hang on. No, don't do this to I, me. <laughs> I'm pulling. Hang on. <laughs> I swear to god, I have my shader off. It. Volks it is black. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I can't do this. I'm doing it right now. Is this where we see that I'm colorblind all along? Is this is this it? <laughs> is this it? <laughs> all right. I posted a okay. poll. <laughs> let me show. Let me show you what it looks like to me. Are you gonna post like a, a screenshot of your vanilla ass game? I I don't think it's gonna help you out in here. Okay, that's with my shader, right? Okay, let's see. What the oh, fuck kind of shade are you using? That is not even remotely close to what I'm looking at. Bro, look at it with I'm... no shader. Nah. 
Hell no. I'm okay. This no, is with, no. okay. Look, 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 look. This is without shader. Look, look at it with the shader and look without. This is without, yeah. I'm pulling up the screenshot that she sent me on stream. One second. I sent you two. Oh, she's right, you guys. That's purple for her. What the fuck? <laughs> am, I, am I tripping? Am I being gaslit right now by Chad and myself? I don't trust any of you guys. <laughs> this is I trust me. This is 98%. Okay, the poll said <laughs> that it's 92% purple. Sh no, sh show them on the screen right now. It's yeah, yeah, I'm, sa I'm, saying, I'm, I'm pulling up the... I can't believe I'm seeing this right now. I'm sorry, Astra, that we got off the sidetrack, but this is important. Look at this. Look at this shit. This looks very... This is a vanilla screenshot for Ashen. Why does it look fucking light purple to her? <laughs> yeah, I don't trust you guys. It's purple. Okay, also... What the f... <laughs> I, I have no idea. Okay, so... If this is the same wall, this is my game. This is vanilla. Like, I don't have any shaders enabled right now. This is, I call. Okay, this is a magical kind of forest tavern. Maybe Ashen is just drunk. Maybe no! she just had a little bit too much, you guys. Well, you know, I am <clears throat> so tired. I could be delirious. <laughs> no, no, but I agree with you. Like, on the screenshot, it it's... Yeah, it's pretty much black. Thank you. It looks purple. Both with and without. Anyways, moving on from this... Hmm. The, the black wall incident. <laughs> All right, <laughs> like these walls are like purple and light purple. Like this is a yeah. dark one. This is light. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> this is gonna haunt you. I'm gonna fucking bully you for this. <laughs> <I know. laughs> this is so cute. I love the space so much over here. They have like this is UFC entrance, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. This is for the chambers. Mm -hmm. So nice. Cute little area. I like how like they have all the grass floor. I never see the grass floor being used these days. It's insane. Uh, would you believe me if I told you it's like the third one I've seen with the grass floor? I do believe you because I'm very subjective. <laughs> so it's like I forget stuff very easily. So let's go upstairs. So the, the way they framed this, like look look at this with the natural wooden beams in here too. Hey, well this is a black wall. Uh, or purple. <laughs> you, sh you should just move on. The incident happened three years ago, Ash, and you have to wake up. I can't. <laughs> Look at how well designed this place is. Like, this seating is so realistic. This was, like, exactly like you something you would see in a fantasy game. Like, a fantasy game. Yeah, I love um, how much space also is up yeah. here. All the way up to the ceiling. They put up, like, the lights are, like, what really does it for me. Like, the little hanging lights with the branches, too. Yeah, like if you stand here and then you like zoom all the way out to that other window, it's so pretty to look at the hanging lights. Yeah, it's so nice. <laughs> Sin is uh, sitting on the beam over there too. It's a nice, beautiful. This reminds me of something, but I can't really like pin it to anything specific. Uh, does it remind you of like a game or something? I think it could be like like a sky like a modded Skyrim uh, interior. Okay, well that, 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 that is very help. specific. I know, it's very specific. Specific area over here. This is the loner chair. This is where you sit where you like... What the fuck did I just hear? So, was it Vulcan with drums down there? He's like... Brrr. Oh yeah, look at that. But yeah, you can sit down over here. It's like the loner area where you like... Oh, I haven't heard that name in five years. <laughs> Yeah, that's like with Aragorn smoking, listening yeah, you, in on conversations. Yeah, like the general atmosphere of this build is very like very lighthearted and nice, but this like loner area is also very cute. Also, like the wave that look at this part over here, like they wave the they use the natural wooden beam over here. Oh yeah, they kind of yeah. This is such a nice view. Like no matter where you are in this place, what the fuck. Don't Whoa. do that, Sin. This is not supposed to be opened. Where, where is it? Hang on. No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, this is such a pretty place. No matter where you are in here, it's so good to look at. And using the normal ceiling and not a custom one. It just feels so natural. It's so good. But yeah, this is... Well, let's see the address again for this one specifically. 
So this was by Astra, this is on Crystal Matthias Ward. 15 plot 31 in Lavender Bats. Also very fitting to like the wards and stuff, you know? Yeah, to the lavender bed. Yeah, I wanna like, I think I wanna go up. Like, let's go up to take uh, like the com uh, the last screenshot for tonight. I'm trying to find like yeah. a good spot to. No, this is an FC. <clears throat> and I don't know if like a lot of people or not, I didn't check, but I wonder if like purple is kind of the FC's colors. It might be either that or they're like, just very like, you know, adventurer guild kind of style. <clears throat> This is like this this shot is very beautiful. Just like the atmosphere in this one. It's a large house, right? A medium. A medium. Oh, that's just a medium? Yeah. That is such an amazing uh, space of a use uh, oh my god, use of space. <laughs> you got you got there, yeah. I got there in the end, I'm sorry, it took me a second. My voice is dying on me as well, I noticed. Well, it's good we're ending. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Again, well, we are like one and a half hours in. Usually we do like two hours-ish for the people who are new, uh, who came from uh, the other stream earlier. <clears throat> oh god, wow. Aww, oh, take a um, break. Let me just go to Jeep House. And <clears throat> last, oh, not last week, sorry. Let me, let me, let's walk, sit down. Sit down, walk. I need to take a screenshot. <clears throat> and uh, this is... Like, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I don't have a toasty mode, I think. Is it mock station? I don't, okay. But yeah, uh, this is our second to last uh, NA build, uh, NA server. So next week we will have um, Dynamis. I think Dynamis is the last one. Dynamis, and I'm looking forward to it. There's so many I wanted to see. We had like a bajillion Dynamis builds. I was like, oh fuck, why can't we go there first? But we have to go through like, every one of them one by one so and in our order that we decided at the beginning so yeah sorry i have to i have to mute myself to cough <laughs> oh god <clears throat> but yeah this is a beautiful screenshot let me just put up the that's too close <laughs> ah that's fine that will do but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight um, again, Dynamis in two weeks time uh, sec uh, the not next saturday but the one after that is gonna be which date is that gonna be? The eighteenth, I think. Uh, seventeenth, yeah. The seventeenth. Okay. Well, wait, what? All right. For me, it's Sunday already, so my ca calendar was a bit different, you know. You're in the future. I'm in the future. So yeah. Um. After Dynamis, or rather, after we check out an A, it's gonna be chaos, like I mentioned before. So we're gonna visit my server finally. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I've saved up quite a few builds on Chaos already, so this is gonna be really cool to check out what people, where I'm from, have uh, come up with recently. Oh, uh, well, I can say recently, because I think two of them are like two years old, and this is how long I wanted to visit, but just never got around to it. Oh, do you think they'll still be there? That's the other question, so, like, to give you guys, <laughs> like, like, an insight into this, so... Again, how we do this is we have stuff saved in our, like, I what I do at least, I bookmark on Twitter and I save, like, a link to, like, I have, like, a personal Discord where I save all of my stuff that I want to look at. Then I see the build. Either the Twitter post is gone, the house is gone, and someone else moved in. They redecorated or it's locked. And it's such a shame every time. Oh yeah, oh, that, I fucking believe, uh, we're bro. Visit you. Definitely. That was Xeno for a second because I pulled up the Final Fantasy category. <laughs> I well, I'm just looking at people to uh, check out for you guys to rate because this is something we want to get used to as well to send you guys over to someone who I don't think anyone is doing housing at the moment. I'll be real with you guys, but you know, sending you guys over to someone who's also playing Final Fantasy. In the meantime, Ashen, entertain everyone. Oh god, I got a vamp. Um, let's see. Um, uh, well, I'm looking forward to um, Dynamis. That's one of the newest ones. And I feel that a lot of designers that we often um, like and talk to the most have gone there. And I wonder if it's just because it's prime real estate. I'm not sure. But uh, there's a lot to look at over there. Oh, uh, Rem's doing house um, housing. Oh, is she doing right now? Fuck, hang on. I didn't see. I didn't see. 
I ah. Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. Can you link me via Twitch again? Because I, I have to log into a new account, uh, so I don't have any like links or something like that at the moment. Okay, one sec. And then I will send you guys over to Rem Rem. They're interviewing Morgan at the moment, and I kiss both of them, Rem Rem and Morgan. So perfect timing for that. What the fuck is playing in the background at the moment? <gasps> that was someone streaming in the background, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I sent it. Yeah. That was like a soundtrack in the background. I was like, what the fuck is this? It was uh, the um, the video playing on uh, someone else's stream and I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. It was like a like a, a trap tune, but that had a lot of moaning in it. I was like, what the fuck was that about? Oh my god. All right, yeah, we're going to end tonight's stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to send you over to Ram Ram and see you guys next Saturday for Dynamis Builds. So look forward to that one. All right, bye. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.